Uh, you know, the uh, trajectory of the electoral process demands that um, the moment we are done with uh, elections at the pulling unit level, uh, those elections, the results, that is the form EC8A, uh, together with the accreditation data, will be uploaded into our INEC Resolve VIM portal. That same result will also be transferred, the manual result will also be transferred uh, from the pooling unit together with the beavers uh, to the first level of collation, uh, which is the registration area uh, collation center. In most of the states of the Federation, that process has uh, been completed. Uh, then from the registration area collation center, it moves to the local government collation center. In a number of the states of the Federation, that collation has been completed, and some of them are at the level of the state collation uh, center as of now. I think the chairman has an assurance that there's a possibility that by the time we reconvene at 6 uh, uh, p.m. today, that we will at least have one state of the federation uh, that has completed uh, the process of collation at the state level. Uh, so the uh, state collation officer for the presidential election, uh, together with the re um, resident electoral commissioner uh, for uh, that particular state, we come to the National Collation Center here and present the results, the state results uh, relating to the presidential election uh, to the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, uh, who is the chief electoral commissioner for the federation and the returning officer for the presidential election. Uh, so that is the process that we commence at 6 p.m. But the chairman at 1 p.m. today declared the National Collation Center open what that means is that the National Collation Center is now ready to receive uh, re uh, results uh, of uh, the presidential election from all the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory. Uh, so that is where we are as of now. I, I, I cannot uh, in good conscience uh, uh, tell you uh, what the problem is. Uh, but all I know is that as of yesterday, I went to the INEC Resolve VIM portal and the results were coming in. And at this morning, I also checked the INEC Resolve VIM portal and the results were, were coming in. But I have um, received reports and information uh, that uh, there are a few people uh, or some people are finding it very difficult uh, to log in. And that some people have also complained uh, that uh, some of the, the results were uh, uh, coming in and, go, and, go, and going out. And so I don't know what the technical issues are. I don't know what the technical details are. Uh, but the moment I get back to our situation room, I will ask the IT people and those who are in charge of the, of the portal whether we, are, we have challenges. And if we have challenges, I want to find out the nature of those challenges and what they have done in, rela in relation to remedying uh, those challenges. Uh, so I'm, 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 I'm slightly deficient when it comes to the issue of technology. So I'm going to go and ask the experts uh, so that I will have a good information uh, relating to what is going on and so that I can pass that information to the public. Well, uh, um, there are concerns relating to some of the challenges we had um, uh, uh, mobilizing to the pooling units um, uh, in, the, in, in some parts of the country. In, uh, ge generally speaking, uh, in most parts of the country, we did deploy and we did deploy, uh, deploy on time. But there were a few states where uh, we had uh, uh, some challenges. Uh, there are some states where uh, some of the transport uh, 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 transporters we engaged in terms of the drivers uh, backed out at the last moment on grounds of security challenges and some of them even backed out on grounds that we needed to pay them more uh, for them to go to uh, 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 places that have security challenges. There were also some places where we had significant challenges uh, getting uh, uh, core members to uh, mobilize to certain to certain areas and also getting our APO 1, 2, and 3 uh, to go to certain areas. Uh, but there were also a few places where we couldn't uh, mobilize on time out of, our own, out of our own making. So we are not offering excuses in relation to some of these um, uh, uh, issues. If there are lessons to be learned, we have learned uh, valuable lessons from this election. And we still have elections in front of us. Uh, so what the commission will do is to quickly review uh, what has happened during this presidential election, especially uh, in the areas where we have logistic challenges, and then overcome the, overcome the challenges and, the, and then move on with the electoral process because we want Nigerians to remain engaged with this process. We want Nigerians to have trust in the ability of the Independent National Electoral Commission uh, to conduct free, fair, transparent, and verifiable election. And so we are not leaving anything to chance. We know that there were challenges. We acknowledge those challenges. Uh, some of those challenges were due to... Um, uh, infrastructural uh, uh, 
uh, issues in the country. Uh, some of them were due to security challenges. Some of them were due to geographical uh, challenges in terms of terrain. And some of them were also uh, due to our own, our own failings and our own making. We are taking all, the, all of them on board and we are going to reca recalibrate and then re re retool our processes and overcome all these challenges and problems. We, we are really not surprised because um, uh, the beavers is the ultimate game, ch game changer, is the ultimate arbiter, and also is the nightmare of election riggers. Uh, so, so since um, carrying of ballot boxes and ballot papers are no longer fashionable, since they have no, uh, um, no electoral value anymore, uh, people are now targeting the beavers, which is the game changer. And uh, since they are targeting the beavers, we keep on improving on the technology of the beavers, uh, so that the moment you move the beavers from one location to the other, uh, it is automatically uh, demobilized and it becomes useless to you, even if you snatch it. Uh, so we, we are doing something about, 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 about the beavers. But I believe that ultimately, um, we must begin to name and shame uh, those who do not believe in the electoral process. We must begin to develop and cultivate uh, the democratic spirit that allows us to allow the rule of law and due process to prevail. That is the only way the electoral process will uh, we, we develop, and that is the only way we can sustain, continue uh, to su su sustain our democracy. We cannot sustain our democracy through fraud. We cannot sustain our democracy when those who are supposed to uh, uh, um, believe in the rule of law and have fidelity of the rule of law uh, violate the, the intentment of the law, violate the intentment of the constitution, and also use extrajudicial and extraconstitutional means uh, to get to power. That cannot advance our democracy, and that cannot advance our electoral process. I just want to plead to Nigerians, to our compatriots, uh, to exercise patience and exercise caution and be circumspect in posting election results uh, in order not to inflame passion and also in order not to give Nigerians a wrong impression uh, that results have come in. If you look at Section 25 of the Electoral Act, it is the Independent National Electoral Commission is the only commission that has the ultimate right, the power and the responsibility of making a declaration and also making a return. And I also want to say that it is against the law and an electoral infraction uh, for anybody to post any result that is not right, that is not accurate, or that is fake. Uh, so let us be circumspect in terms of what we are doing, in order not to inflame passion, and also in order not to create the condition uh, for a breakdown of law and order when the commission ultimately declares the authentic results in relation to uh, various levels of election. We, we don't cancel results arbitrarily. Um, at the level of the pooling unit, if there's an overvoting at a pooling unit, it is a, the, the responsibility of the presiding officer to cancel such, such a result. If a presiding officer has been prevented from deploying, that presiding officer is, to, is supposed to fill a certain form which the presiding officer takes to the first level of collation and hands over to the registration area collation officer. And then it goes on and on. Uh, so our electoral process is based on procedure, is based on process. And if you also look at uh, Section 65 of the, of the Electoral Act, if, for instance, a declaration and a return has been made under Doris or made, not made in accordance with the law and the regulations and guidelines of the Commission, the Commission has been given a period of seven days uh, to review that declaration, review that particular return, and take a decision. And uh, so uh, the uh, every, various th things we do and decisions we take and actions we take are based on the Constitution and also based on the law. I will rather love, allow Nigerians to rate our performance, but I believe that within the context of uh, the trajectory of the Nigerian uh, Federation, we have done very well in terms of making sure that this election is not postponed and also in terms of making sure uh, that our election materials get to site and get to location uh, 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 on time. Yes, we acknowledge that there were uh, challenges has done well and we are still going to do, continue to learn valuable lessons in order to proceed with the electoral process and continue to give Nigerians a very good uh, voting uh, experience.